Thank you everyone for joining us again for Sacred Prayers. I'm so um, thankful that I could be here with you today and as we start our prayer time today. I wanted to read just a couple things before I get started. I found um, in the book of Ephesians uh, an appropriate verse. It says, pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. And this once again comes from Ephesians chapter 6. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. So I thought today that we would just begin um, with our P for prayer and we would praise our Savior Jesus Christ. So join me right now as we praise our Savior. And just um, if you feel like you want to kneel down wherever you're at, by your bed, your chair, um, your couch, that would be great as well. So join me and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, once again we come to you, our Savior, our Messiah, and we just lift our hands in praise to you. We thank you for being our Savior. We thank you for all that you do in our lives. We thank you for washing us clean in the blood of Jesus. And we thank you for refreshing us and restoring us day by day, moment by moment. We thank you that you have power in our life. And we give you all the thanks and all the praise for the power in the name Jesus. We give you thanks and praise once again for the power in the name Jesus. Father God, we worship you today and we adore you and we sing praises to your name. We thank you for watching over us. We thank you for providing for us in these very uncertain times. We thank you, dear Lord, that you have remained the same. So much has changed in our world and in our lives, but our Jesus, our Savior, our Messiah has remained the same. And we are thankful and grateful for that. Father God, we we are grateful that you can empty us of ourselves so that we can be filled with your Holy Spirit and your grace and your mercy. And that way we could serve others better when we are empty of ourselves. We pray, dear God, that you would <clears throat> wash our minds, our bodies, our souls, and our spirits in the grace and mercy and blood of Jesus and help us to be holy and acceptable unto you, O God. We praise you, Jesus, for wearing the crown of thorns on your head. We praise you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins. And we praise you, Jesus, for rising on the third day. We thank you, Jesus, that you are much bigger than we ever could imagine. And we thank you, Jesus, for eternal life. And once again, we praise the name Jesus as a body of Christ. We praise the name Jesus. So now I'd like to read a little part with you, and then we're going to go on to um, repentance and ask Jesus to forgive us. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Because he bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. I really like that verse where it talks about how he bends down to listen. And I have a, a belief that many of us are hoping and praying that Jesus is bending down to us to listen to our prayers. So let us join together and repent of our sins. Dear Heavenly Father, we do repent of our sins. Father God, I repent of my sins and maybe those that I've forgotten about. We pray that you would just forgive us of our sins for maybe choosing to do the thing that we weren't supposed to do. Maybe for not doing the things that we were supposed to do. Father God, for, forgive us if we've had unpure thoughts. Forgive us for not praying every day. Help us to remember to stay connected and forgive us if we failed in that. Father, forgive us for having judgment upon others. And Father, forgive us for not standing tall in the name of Jesus. 
Forgive us for all of those unspoken sins that we have in our life and we repent those to you. Amen. And then I wanted to share another part and then we will go on to um, adoration. Prayer is the fuel of the Holy Spirit. We get our power from the Holy Spirit and our spiritual tank is filled up through our time with God in prayer. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, prayer is where we give ourselves to His calling and it's there that He enables us to accomplish His will in our lives and in the life of the church. I believe that prayer in the church, specifically prayer to encourage and uplift our pastors and leaders in the church and our church family will set the body of Christ on fire for the kingdom. Prayer is true fellowship with God. Prayer is the time God has reserved for us when, we, when He can recalibrate our thinking and renew His peace in our mind and soul. Prayer is heaven's funnel for us to be renewed. Prayer is strengthening our connection to the unseen home we have with our Father. Prayer is God's way of saying, I am yours and you are mine. Come and talk with me. So at this time, I invite you to lift your adoration to our Savior. Father God, we adore thee. We adore thee. We adore thee. We give praise to the name Jesus. We sing praises to our Savior. We sing hallelujah to the name of Jesus. We lift you on high, O oh God, and we sing praises. We give thanks to you, Jesus. We give thanks to you. You are the mercy giver and the faith builder, O oh God. You give us so much every day, so much that we can't even account for it all. You know every hair on our head, and you know us like every grain of sand on the beaches. You know everything, Father. We give you praise. We praise you for your protection. We praise you for your healing. We praise you for forgiving us. We praise you for restoring us. And we praise you for replenishing us when we feel so empty. We praise the name Jesus and we sing praises unto thee. O oh, Jesus, we sing praises unto thee. O oh, Jesus, we sing praises unto thee. Amen. And now let us join together for one last part. And we're going to um, read a small part here out of my book. And it's called 21 Days of Breakthrough Prayer. I believe that through prayer we will enter into a new dimension in our walk with Him. I believe the destiny God has for us starts to unfold rapidly when we, resubmit, when we submit our heart and soul to Him for His eternal purposes in our lives. When we accept the awesome privilege of talking with God and receiving from Him the majesty of His presence, since prayer is all these things and so very much more, Please join us once again as we pray together in the power and guidance of the Holy Spirit for ourselves, our loved ones, our pastors, and their families. So now I'm going to give you, let's just have a moment of silence as we give Jesus our unspoken request. And now let us pray together. Father God, we come to you and we bow before you and we lift our hands to you and we just worship you today. Thank you for these moments of prayer. Thank you that they might be strength or um, encouragement or fuel for those who need, as we all really need in these dark times, these uncertain times. Father, we pray for our church family that even though we haven't gathered together in a church building, for a long time, Father, we pray that you would continue to unite us and help us to be knit together so closely in different ways, 
and keep us close as a body of Christ. We pray, O oh God, that you would heal those who are sick in our church family. We pray for those who suffer with COVID and those who may be in the hospital for different reasons. We pray for healing in the name Jesus. We pray for those who are suffering with anxiety and depression. And we pray, O oh God, by the name of Jesus and the power of Jesus and the blood of Jesus, that you would free them, those who suffer with depression and anxiety, free them, free us from those pleas in the name of Jesus. Replace that with joy and peace and comfort from you. Father, we pray for all of those um, families who are suffering so, so very much with death of loved, loved ones who have been um, harmed and hurt and they have passed away in the hands of maybe law enforcement. We pray that you would protect those families and bless them and comfort them and give them strength. Give them strength that is only able to come from you. It is the strength that passes all understanding. We pray for our country that you would help us, heal us, lead us and guide us. Father, for the wildfires in California, we pray, God, that you would have your Holy Spirit blow in and blow the fires away. Help them to go away and stop. We thank you for all the firemen who are working so very hard to put out the fires. We pray that you would protect them and protect their families, comfort them. We pray that you would bring um, renewal to their families and to them. And Father God, we just pray once again for the leadership of our church, this beautiful, amazing church, this amazing church that feeds lots of hungry people, this amazing church that just provide so many amazing things that to help people by helping with houses and food and clothing and beds and prayer blankets and prayer shawls and beautiful music that is shared to lift the spirits of so many. We just thank you, dear God, for that. And we thank you that you would help us to continue to do your will according to your will. And Father, we ask on this day, this beautiful day that you've given, you've given us another day. Yesterday wasn't it. We've had another day. We great, we're so grateful for giving us another day. Thank you for this beautiful day, and we praise you, O oh God. Let us walk out in our yards, in our streets, and just praise the name Jesus for this beautiful day that you've given. And we are so grateful, Jesus. I pray that you would just draw us into your spirit. I pray that we would find ourselves at the feet of Jesus. Let us find us ourselves touching the hem of your garment. Let us find ourselves drinking from the living water that you provide. And oh Jesus, let us find ourselves humbled and crumbled at your feet. We praise you, Jesus, and we thank you for a beautiful day once again. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for stooping down to listen to us. Thank you for touching us. And we ask all of these things in the name Jesus. Now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray in saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen so thank you once again for joining us um, for this prayer, sacred prayers this week. And I hope that you have a wonderful week and hopefully we'll see you this weekend um, on online worship. And I pray that God's blessings would pour over you. Amen.